welcome to another episode of Salary Watch, man. Recently, I bought a beautiful timepiece, a Tech Hoye Aqua Racer for my wife as an anniversary present, and today we'll be going more into detail of this wonderful timepiece. Hoye was actually just Hoye, founded in 1860, and it wasn't until 1985 when Tech, the conglomerate, actually bought over a majority state of Hoye, becoming Tech Hoye. And in 1999, LVMH bought over its majority state of Tech Hoye. So since its founding, Tech Hoye made significant contributions to the world of horology. Its founder, Edward Hoye, patented the oscillating pinion still used in the production of mechanical watches today. Till 1950, Tech Hoye has been heavily involved in the development of efficient timekeeping and this can be seen in aviation, auto racing, even in sports as well and it's evident because there's so many stopwatches out there in the form of pocket watches as well as the dashboard uh, stopwatch and if you come across all these these are actually very collectible timepieces in 1970 the quartz crisis happened and it hit tech hoyo very very heavily on which they needed some form of uh, rejuvenation in their product line in order to keep the company afloat and keep them surviving so that was when the founder's grandson, Jack Hoye, uh, created a line in 1982 known as the Series 1000, otherwise known as the Hoye Monin 844. This was to be the backbone of the Echo Racer that we know today, on which in 2004, it was officially launched as the Echo Racer. Until today, there are two offerings of the Echo Racer, the, the automatic calibers as well as the quartz 300 meter version is what we have here today. A beautiful 35mm Echo Racer and as you can see in the black dial that stands out along with the hour markers seen as the diamond version. Now the, the usual one has the baton markers but I feel that the diamond actually accentuates the dial and has a little bit of a feminine touch along with the sportiness. With the black ceramic bezel as well, it complements the look so beautifully. On its sides, uh, you can see the fully polished stainless steel, the centered lines along with the bracelet half tone with the ceramic black in the center. Really beautifully done. And its claps is a butterfly claps, which is super comfortable. The case back is fully signed with the Tech Hoye logo as well as the Diver logo in the middle. Very proudly saying that it is uh, suitable for all dive challenges that you might have. In terms of its overall look, I think it's a wonderful design. Its price point is 2,800 Singapore dollars, available at authorized distributors in Singapore. It is a discontinued model, so if you want to get a hold of this, you better you know, get to your shop really quickly. I know some of you might be thinking, as a quartz watch, it is really pricey. I sincerely believe, as you know, when I see my wife using it every day, and uh, she's been hunting this for a year now, and I think I truly believe that sometimes it is not the price of the watch that matters, but the happiness that you bring to your loved ones through a certain timepiece is truly priceless. Just take a look at how she, you know, she was smiling away uh, when we bought the timepiece. I was so proud of uh, to be part of that journey and buying this watch from her. So the Echo Racer is a fantastic watch to have. It is an entry level piece as well. So if you want to get your hands on the Echo Racer, please do so. Oh, and do remember to like and subscribe. But the more likes you give me, the better encouragement I get to make more videos. So thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in my next one. This is Salary Watchman signing off. Thank you and bye bye.